In this video, we're going to talk about prime and composite numbers. There is the objective. So, vocabulary. First of all, prime number has two factors. Exactly two factors. No more, no less. And those factors are always one and whatever the number is that you're looking at. Composite numbers have three or more. It's okay to have three. They're going to have three or more factors. So one and the number, and then at least one other number. So finding the fact, finding factors, here's what I do. All right, step one, draw a T-chart with one through nine as the first factors. All in order, one through nine. Step two, we're going to find the partners of these numbers one through nine, if they exist. So for instance, one times what equals 18? Well, 18 does, okay? So then I go to the next number. Two times what equals 18? Two times nine does. Three times what equals 18? Now, if I can't think of it, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means I need to count by threes. And if I need to make a list off to the side of my threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Oh, good, it works. Three times six. Notice that I'm marking off the numbers down below if I use them already. Two times nine, I don't need the nine anymore. Three times six, I don't need the six anymore. Four times what equals 18? Again, just because we can't think of a fact doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means that you might have to count. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, nothing. Five, 10, 15, 20, nothing. 7, 14, 21, no. 8, 16, 24, no. So the only numbers are there in the list. So we're going to take these numbers, these factors, and uh, we're going to list them. And then, I mean, honestly, we could be able to, we should be able to look at our list now and know if it's prime or composite, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. We put them in order, least to greatest. We use commas to separate them. These are the factors of 18. It's a composite number because it has three or more. And it has six, obviously, right? So let's do another one with 36, a little bit bigger. So step one, do a T-chart with one through nine, check. Find the factor partners, we'll do that here in a second, and then we'll list the factors. All right, one times what is 36? 36, 36. Uh, that one's easy. Two times, we'd have to count up. Two, four, six, eight, et cetera, et cetera. We'd hit 36 eventually, that's 18. Three, if we counted by threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, we'd hit 36, 12 times. Four times nine, six times six. Five doesn't work. If we count by fives, we won't hit 36. Count by seven, eight, nine we've already used. <clears throat> right, so we have to count up. If we don't know our multiplication facts, we have to count up. Now, even if you're pretty good at your multiplication facts, sometimes you'll leave one out. So the T-chart might help you remember one that you could potentially leave out. So we have uh, a list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. It is definitely a composite number, okay? It has um, certainly more than three factors, or more than two factors, I should say. I've circled the 6 because he's only on the list once, even though he's in the chart twice, right? 6 times 6 is a double. All right, so 36 is a special number, so let's talk about some more vocabulary, right? 36 is a square number. It's the result of multiplying a factor with itself, six times six. So you can see over here on the left that I've created these arrays for 36. Perhaps that's something that you've done in the past where you took tiles and you built up the multiplication facts. So one times 36 would be 36 tiles, all in a nice row making this long re rectangle. 
So what do you notice about the arrays? Or what do you notice about one ray in particular? So obviously it's called a square number because one of the arrays of 36 is a square. And it's the one that's 6 times 6. Right? So there's a square number. So there's lots of square numbers. Uh, they're not as... Just move on. Alright, let's do another example. There's the steps right there. I've already made my t-chart. So 1 times what is 17? 2 times what is 17? Since 17 is odd, I wonder if 2 will work with it. Hmm. Since 17 is odd, I wonder if 4 or 6 or even 8 will work with that. So usually when you skip with even numbers, you always get even numbers. Not usually. Every single time. So with an odd number, uh, none of the even factors are going to work. 2, 4, 6, 8. 5 won't work. I know my 5's pretty well, right? 5, 10, 15, 20. 5 won't work. So we'd have to check three, so we'll skip count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, no. How about seven? Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, no. Nine, nine plus nine all by itself is eighteen, that's too much. So the only with uh, the only one that we get is one and seventeen. That's the only multiplication fact to give you seventeen. So one and seventeen. There's your list of factors, and it is a prime number for that reason. It has it has exactly two factors, no more, no less.